And the next team, the final team, the team that's in the lead after their rhythm dance, Yali Yi Pedersen and Jeffrey Chen, Jeffrey Chen, 16 to 21 years of age. They need an 85.58 to take the win here, the gold in 15 points. They're going to skate to, I remember, in the point of no return, both from the Phantom of the Opera. Yali Pedersen and Jeffrey Chen from the United States of America and Ted, I'd read a quote that said Yali always wanted to be an ice dancer from having watched Meryl Davis and Charlie White at the Olympics using music that Meryl and Charlie used so brilliantly. You can see already in Yali, despite her comparative lack of experience as an ice dance partner, some of the great qualities that Olympic champion Meryl Davis had as well. She'll be disappointed, perhaps she's worried, but you know, the team is bound for success based on the quality of their movement. No question. And being in first, uh, you know, after the rhythm dance, it's an experience they really haven't had on the Grand Prix. You know, to be there, how do you defend? Well, you can't really defend a place. You just have to keep pushing forward your own 
And that's hard because you're wanting that metal. You're wanting that as part of your brain is talking to you about that. The other part is going, whoa, 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 we have to skate. Complicated and difficult. But this is a good experience for them to learn. Obviously, you can see her passion for dance. It's mm -hmm. in her. She is a dancer. And she's living her dream. Maybe not the ultimate dream right yet. But, you know, even in these slow moments, you can see quality, beautiful extension of the feet through the twizzles. And she looks so very comfortable in the air as well, defying that. Yeah. I just wonder if she checks some of the rotations in there, might have dropped her level on the twizzles as well. Here, there's the, the rocker, that looked pretty good within this step. And again, there I see images of oh, Mahel Davis, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the chucks are so really mindful already of the quality of movement, just there, unfortunate. And they had this slightly there, yeah. And that's to be expected, you know, they're new, it's, it's inevitable. Choosing to do the choreo character step. And the straight line down the ice using the long axis, an option that the couples can use this year. We weren't able to do that last year. So, it's interesting, Ted, because Jeffrey's got so much experience and he's been very successful with previous partners and I was so respectful of the way in which he cared for and looked after Yali in the rhythm dance and now he's going to have to encourage and support her here too now because it, it looks like they may lose the lead but that's it, you know whether it's first second third irrespective this is a, a really great team that I think could easily no be in the grumpy final they, in, in my mind, they win, they win two things. They win a medal, and they win an experience of which they won't let probably happen again. Mm -hmm. They'll learn, they'll know how to focus or how to, how to be in the lead and how to continue to push forward. So it's just one Junior Grand Prix event and hopefully a long career for this team. 83.12, that's fifth in the free dance. The total competition score, 146.37. And they grab the silver. You need to be happy about that.